554. All right. Uh, enough of this. I need to check out Twitter. <laughs> Shane Dawson, you're a trip, man. Bob Jens. All right. Uh, what? We don't pay you to browse the web. Y- yes, sir. Sorry. Sorry, sir. I'll get right back to work. Yes. We're going to show you how to browse the internet at work and get away with it. First, load up Excel. You can use any version you want, but go up to the Data tab, click on Import External Data, and then New Web Query. Once the window loads, click through the prompts. Once the window is completely up, go to your favorite website in any browser you want. We're going to use Twitter for an example here. Go to the RSS feed and grab the link that appears at the top. Copy it and then paste it into Excel and hit the import button. Once you've done that, click through the prompts, hit OK, and all of the Twitter feed is going to load into Excel. You can now remove any columns you don't need and, you know, clean it up a little bit. Just to make it look like we're working, we're also going to add quarterly report to the top of this Excel sheet. Once you've done that, you have your entire Twitter feed right there in Excel. You can even set it to auto-refresh. Go to External Data Range Properties and hit the Refresh Every button. We're going to set it at 5 minutes and hit OK. This way, every 5 minutes, the Excel form is going to refresh and we've got a nice, fresh Twitter feed. Alright, Twitter feed and... Yeah. <laughs> Working nice and hard. Hey! It looks like you're working hard. We should give you a raise. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.